Florida Gators coming in with a 5-3 and three conference record and a big win over the Kentucky Wildcats. This will have an in set for some hoops. And we're underway. Interesting matchup because Florida likes to score a lot of points. Man defensively, Dave, but will sag off the non-shooters that the Aggies have. Boot, strong take to the basket. Hits the Boots trying to turn the corner, spins into a double team, tied up. Tough shot, wow. Aggies are good when Boots Radford is aggressive. And they're gaining yeah, on that defensive end. You've got size inside. You can rebound with anybody. Oh, good underneath pass, easy finish. And you've got three. Richard keeps it alive, seven on the shot clock. Here's Pullen. Pulls up, knocks it home. That possession alive. It's an 8-0 run by Florida here in the opening three minutes. Nice take by. Here's Jace Carter. Washington will try again. This one is good. They're battling. And we, and we know this. Florida is an outstanding rebounding team, but they are not quite like this Aggie squad when talk about rebounding. Taylor the fourth with the basketball gets it inside to Garcia. And a foul on Washington trying to get Radford had the first two baskets for the Aggies to start this game. Drives to the rim, gets hacked across the forehead by Coop. SEC. One of the keys to that team, I thought, was a shot. They didn't win in the loss against Ole Miss. They missed 10 when we were at Arkansas in Olympo. Garcia. And a foul on the way to the basket. Set. He has been a rebounding machine. Six players in the top 15 in offensive rebounds of the Southeastern Conference team. So good, this backcourt with the basketball and finding good looks. Another turnover. That's three possessions. Now you come play an a &M team. And when you look at numbers and stats, you kind of think, well, a and not going to score that much. But look at the start. a &M switching guys, active hands, active feet. Communications high. Shot clock winding down off the front of the rim. And Wesley blocked, I think, by Clayton. Spin by Pullen. Clayton fires. He knew it was in the net. His and trying to find a little bit of room. Got Garcia up in the air. So one of the things, obviously, the but what Poland wants to do is get any big on him and get him off balance. Hesitation, then take it to the rim. Three-point shooter, but a chance for the Gators. They'll get it to Riley Kugel, who knocks it home. Off to Howe, kicks it back to Poulin. Kugel. Nice look inside, reverse layup. It's good from Tom. Shot clock at three. Trying to get a little room from Coleman. Step back is no good. And wow. Of the left. Another miss. This Aggie squad. Chase Carter. And they didn't get back defensively. And the easy throw down. The mental aspect comes in if you're the Aggies. How do you get buckets? Where do you get them? Normally it's Wade Taylor the fourth. I'm pulling. Surprised. I'm surprised they let him catch it. Because that's what can happen. Correct. Once he does. Dope and can't get it to go. Garcia tried to keep it alive. Up to Richard. Alley-oop. The throw down. Oh, my. That time. Just stay with him. Don't help out. Nice pass to Carter. Some contact. He got the basket to go. It's inside. They rebound the ball extremely well. Radford. Oh, Woo. he's had a couple of Woo. nice drives to the back. To jump over the top and make shots. In and out. Boy, Condon had it, then Taylor slaps him across the wrist. He two out of 75 this year. And converts on the first. Hey, six more hours of college hoops that you can also watch on the ESPN app from anywhere. Gators shooting 52%. Google deep three is perfect. The fifth three. An outstanding defender, but offensively, he can do some damage. Long Great outlet, outlet pass. Here's Kugel on Taylor, and Taylor attempted just one shot, no rebounds. Boy, that went off the back of the alley. The court, 6'11", 6'10", 7'1". Pass, he'll swing it around, Kugel. Two seconds of the shot clock, pull in. Got it. The large. Condon. And another foul against Texas A&M. And, and seeing if Radford can get it, they need more movement on the offensive end to maybe possibly find more open shots. Loose ball and could pass it to Garcia. 
Clayton, catch, shoot, short. And a foul. Clayton, 80% at the line, gets the first one. Takes on 24th ranked North Carolina. Then number one, South Carolina. The as Clayton gets two out of three. How about Clayton last year? Led the NC Garcia. Nice Cross pass. Kugel. Step back three on the way. Got it. Boy, Kugel, but he lets. Decided to bring him off the bench. That could sink a lot of guys. It, it hasn't for Kugel. Radford this time converts to the rim. There's a heat check by Kugel. Couldn't get it to go. They'll swing it around to pull it. He's left wide open, and that one rolls around the cylinder and through the three. Boy, a dozen points for pulling. Easy lay in for Garcia. Oh, that one is swatted out of there by Washington. Bradford to the rim, hangs in the air and gets it to go. It's to go. Bradford with it. Pull up three. Got it at the horn. He did. He takes the first shot. And the reason is, is because he's a scorer with a scorer's mentality. Taylor with just six points and right up by Obaski. He hits the deck. The Gators pushing the tempo again. And they've got numbers. Pull in. We'll kick it to the side and Richard. Right. North Carolina. I'm going for the home team. That a boy. Garcia reverse layup off the window. And their team gives up an offensive rebound from a missed free throw. Obaski trying to take it himself. Almost got the. He just got all choked up, living out his dream and playing at such a high level. But the Lakers in town, clock winding down, and that one was blocked. Clayton just had to get it up. Garcia running the floor. Can't get the layup, but a foul in the pro. They are 12th in the league in free throw percentage, but they have really struggled of late. Buzz Williams. The crowd ready to explode if they could get an offensive bucket. There it is. 64% foul shooter. And he converts the three-point play. They would have got this full house here inside Reed Arena on their feet. Step back, wow. and it rolls in from Reed Arena. Gators fell behind early, but they have been in control for quite a bit now. But the Aggies trying to cut it. Wade Taylor has been the offensive catalyst for this team all season long. Throws it up, but boy, how about Gar? Taylor's going to take shots. They might be difficult shots. And they head to the offensive glass. Another answer by 18 a game. Carter, left hand, got it to go. Boy, he is some kind of athlete. Clock at seven. Corner three on the way from Richard. No good, but the putback by. He hasn't been able to swing the basketball. Now you get a deep shot on one end. Good steal, good hands. Richard working on Levesque, and he is, oh. Defensively, and it's a turnover by the Aggies, and the Aggies can't afford to have a lot of turnovers. Nine percent, which was 13th in the league. It's I think if you play shot clock running down on the road, you got a heavy chance to lose games. And Carter, foul. and m playing how they have played all year. Kind of choppy, aggressive defensively. 64% on the year at the line, and gets one out of two. 12 minutes to go. Shot. You knew it was coming. Good call, Wade Taylor. Well, off the high screen, no matter which way, and then play with the defenders. Tough shot, running left, shooting it right, and a foul by Z that they call Zach Eady. Kentucky fans have a big Z <laughs> in Ivasic, <laughs> and they're not happy. Tuesday night at Vanderbilt. Off the window, no good. Rebound there by Samuel, but Garcia. Practice as though it's a must win. Aberdeen just coughed it up. An unforced error. That allows Radford with it. Coleman. Big man. Rebound. Off to Taylor. Flying down the lane. And he draws the contest. Basketball down. You're in trouble. Taylor connects on the front end. The Wade Taylor. 82% at the line. Taylor. Oh, how about the step back? Got it! Aggies with the lead. Pullen kicks it back out to Richard. Kugel's Boy. wide open. That's off the mark. Tapped around, and Obasiki has it. Rivalry to North Carolina Duke, because you've got two coaches that lived it, breathed it. And they didn't think that team could shoot 67% with nobody guarding. Aggressive on the offensive end. Speaking of quiet, Samuels had an extremely quiet until then. Nice ball. 
Condon will get it to Zion, pull it. Samuel, back-to-back -back baskets now. Bush should get to the foul line. Now, they don't make a lot of free throws, but they put a lot of pressure on your defense. And a reach-in foul. Boots, two for the free throw line against Ole Miss, and they lost that. Richard fires for three, got it. That time was in. Better than Wade Taylor, though, at splitting defenders up top and getting he to the rim. so good at that. Yeah, he is. Oh, my oh. goodness, out of nowhere. Samuel. Five on the shot clock. Samuel in traffic. They're going to rally from a 13-point deficit. Two on the shot clock. Pull in off the rim and knocked out of back. Wade Taylor back on the floor with four fouls. Takes it to the rim. Drew the foul and back to the line. Three and Lockton has three. The flip side, Wade Taylor, who's at the line. Poor Clayton had a couple of those uh, three-pointers early in that first half. In the second half, he's... Pulling with a ball fake, pull up jumper, and he got it to roll through the cylinder. Radford has it, 10 on the shot clock. Just threw it up, hoping for a whistle. Got it back, and he does get the whistle. 66% on the year. Boy, he's played one out of two. 40 seconds to play. There's 11 on the shot clock. Radford in the lane. Got it up and over top. Because of his length. Google cutting baseline, lost it. Gets it back, wants to call a timeout. They're going to make, lets it go. Loose ball. And it's over. The Aggies. And 66. It is five straight over the Gators. And again, another one that comes down to the wire. What a finish. The Gator will head for the home stretch in SEC play, and this is a good way to kick it off. They go to 4-4 four four in SEC play.